71 cloudy. It's humid outside. Not as windy though as yesterday. We got up to 36 miles per hour on this uh, wind gust today. Nowhere near that. We're at 10 right now out of the northwest actually. And uh, the windiest spot is Flower Bluff, 14 miles per hour out of the south. You see the variability in the wind speed. Some locations calm, uh, so we may see some patchy fog pop up. I don't think it'll get widespread here this morning, but with less wind, that is going to be possible. Upper 60s, low 70s for the most part. Radar is clean. I've got the higher resolution radar just to see if we can find any speckles out there, but uh, I'm not seeing it. The cold front that's going to come through later on uh, today is moving through the Houston area. You can see the rain with it. That's going to be it for travel weather. This rain going to move out shortly and across the state. It's going to be smooth sailing with respect to traveling around. So uh, there shouldn't be any issues with that mid 60s in San Antonio and Austin. Not terribly cold behind this front. It is cooler and chilly in the panhandle though. 32 in Amarillo. We're not going to get into uh, that batch of air. The system dropping the front end is over Missouri. You see that spin in the water vapor imagery. Another one's going to come in over the weekend. This one's in the Pacific Northwest, and that's going to be the one uh, that really shakes up the weather forecast here. For the time being, though, the cold front that moves through today will end up stalling out over the area on Thanksgiving and continue to retreat to the north on Friday. That'll be the focal point for some shower and thunderstorm activity on Friday. This particular weather model has most of the rain displaced farther north between the I-10 and I-20 corridors on Friday afternoon. However, that being said, I do think we're going to see some scattered activity uh, in the coastal bend here on Friday, and that will go up. The activity wise uh, will go up on Saturday with this front laying over the area. The disturbance getting closer and another cold front approaching from the west. That'll be the one that ends up clearing us out into Sunday. And once we get into Sunday, do expect crisp air, sunshine and upper 60s. Not before, though, uh, hopefully we get a nice deposit of rain, free water over the area. The bullseye is going to be in southeastern Texas, three to four inches of rain over near Houston between Victoria and Corpus Christi, one to two inches of rain and then south of Corpus Christi and west of Corpus Christi. It's looking like more of a half inch to one inch. Of course, these totals, some places could exceed those numbers. Others could not get there, but that's the best uh, estimate as far as rainfall totals go and some of that will fall in the watershed, which definitely needs that rainfall. The rain chances will begin to go up Friday. They'll max out Saturday morning uh, with numerous showers and a few isolated thunderstorms in the area. Temperatures will also drop off. There is a change though on the high Saturday. I uh, kept us in the mid 70s. I think that front's just going to stall out over the area and won't push completely through until Sunday morning and then those temperatures get a lot more fall like 60s in the day. 40s overnight into early next week. Today, there's the cold front. It's going to pass through maybe a little quick splash and dash shower around noontime uh, and temperatures top out near 80, then fall back into the mid 70s this afternoon. The front then retreats back to the north on Thanksgiving Day. It'll become more humid with highs in the mid to low 80s. So a little drop in humidity today, then back up into humid for Thursday and Friday on the muggy meter today. High near 80. That'll happen around noontime. That cold front then passes through, putting us in the mid 70s for the afternoon. It will not be as windy today either. An east to northeast wind coming in 7 to 14 miles per hour. 60 tonight will keep that northeast breeze light. 81 for Thanksgiving. Rain chances start to go up Friday with highs in the low 80s. That cold front stalls on Saturday. That's when I think the best shot for showers and a few thunderstorms will be and pushes completely through Sunday morning, bringing in some crisp feeling air, sunshine and highs in the 60s. Mike Barbie. Thank you, Alan.